I'm snitching in the kitchen. Diddy. Got to tell on him. He he tried it on me. So I know it's true. I was married. My ex-wife. Uh, uh, I got a phone call in the middle of the night. About 2.30 in the morning. It, it was... My wife says, pick up the phone. It was an unknown number. Unknown number. Pick up the phone. What bitch is calling you? Who's calling you? Picked up the phone. I was Diddy. And he said, hey, man, we didn't see what the BET Awards. We didn't see what the BET Awards. Uh, you know, what you doing? I'm, like, I'm in bed with my wife. He said, I, uh, I'm at the Beverly Hills Hilton. Uh, the Beverly Hills Hotel. I said, oh, I said, what's up? I said, who over there? He said, just me. What the fuck? He said, just me. A big, ugly man dog. Hey, yo. What up, though? This is your boy, the Big Ugly Man Dog. And this is my show, Big Ugly Opinion. And as you can see, Diddler the Riddler is allegedly at it again. According to Columbus Short, it's not alleged. You know, he tried to get him to come to the hotel room and... Have a freak off to get their freak on. Pause. That's crazy. Uh, probably have more on that somewhere down the line, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, he's apparently being accused of a lot more things. A friend of Cassie's actually wrote a letter and detailed some things that she alleges that she saw firsthand. So she's saying it's not alleged either. I find it interesting that everything is coming out the way that it is. But I will say this, if these people are saying that they saw this firsthand, it may or may not have some serious, you know, some serious truth to it, you know, but let's get into the letter real quick. All right, so we're going to get right into it. All right, so we're going to get right into it. This is supposedly Cassie's friend also a songwriter named tiffany red and this is you know grammy award-winning singer songwriter tiffany red has penned an open letter to sean diddy combs backing abuse claims made by longtime girlfriend cassandra cassie ventura so you see she was there in the mix so what it says is red's letter comes on the heels of combs first public statement addressing the mounting allegations against him and corroborates events outlined in Ventura's lawsuits. That's Cassie. One incident in question allegedly occurred on the singer's 29th birthday after Cassie wanted to leave. So Cassie was at the party, her 29th birthday party. Diddy shows up there, or he was there already, whatever the case is, and it's time to go freak off time. You were not happy that she was leaving. I remember your people hovering around us trying to discourage Cassie from leaving. Well, we went anyway. You followed us and arrived just a little bit after we did. It was instantly uncomfortable, Red wrote. When I walked out of the room, you had her back into a corner in a hallway outside of the door, and your security surrounded you two as you cursed her out with your hands in her face. She and I briefly made eye contact. I felt helpless. Man, dealer. Say it ain't so, Diddler. The songwriter goes on to detail that Cassie allegedly confided in her that on that night she was forced to engage in sexual acts at the behest of Combs while being heavily under the influence of both drugs and alcohol. She later told me you made her have a freak off, which Cassie described in her lawsuit as an arrangement where you would make her perform sexual acts with male sex workers that night she continued red also alleges that combs made gregarious sexual advances toward ventura who throughout the evening explicitly expressed that she did not want to leave with the music icon i was terrified for cassie and completely traumatized she said red addressed combs as a literal pillar in black music while expressing her disappointment in his dangerous abuse of power that she claimed inflicted ongoing harm on countless individuals, including myself, my friends, and my peers. Diddler. Diddler the Riddler. Tell me you didn't do such things. It's a lot of people coming out saying he did a lot of things. 
And, and you know, I typically would say, I don't know this, I don't know any of this to be true. You know, all of these accusations. The number of people coming out is definitely making it look like, boy, oh boy, you are clearly guilty of something. Normally, you know, I would, if you think about it, she settled. So she got the money really fast after the suit was filed. That kind of made it look like it was more of a clout chase, a money chase, whatever the case, right? Now you've got so many people coming out corroborating the story. And I'm like, hey, that could be an organized attack to tear Diddy down. But the unfortunate part is he has a lot of people that was on his payroll coming out saying the same thing. And, you know, these are people that he was cool with, I guess. You know, his bodyguard, Gene Deal, the other guy, uh, who was it, Mark something? One of the other guys. And I'm like, yo, these are artists and his bodyguards and Cassie and her writer. And, you know, all of his artists that got their, you know, their uh, publishing back from him have had to sign NDAs so they're all on hush hush it all just looks like maybe the top then blown off his weirdo operation that's the way it appears to me you know I I would hate to automatically assume that this is all true but a lot of it is starting to look like it might be the facts All right. so while the songwriter acknowledged her fear of coming forward She felt it necessary to speak out to support Ventura. The power imbalance makes it nearly impossible to fight back and terrifying to speak up. And Red continued, but despite that, here I am standing beside my friend. There are moments in life when some of us have to face the hard choice of speaking truth to power or not. You know, that that's just part of her letter from what I understand. Maybe it's a longer letter, but that's that's the part I was able to find. And my goodness, Diddler, say it ain't so. So recently it came out as well that Diddy is also being accused of gang essaying a 17 year old years ago with himself and two other people. Now, that's crazy as it gets. This woman is unnamed as of right now, as far as I can find. So, you know, I'm sure we'll hear more on that somewhere down the line, too. But, I mean, daggone it, man. If you've been doing that for so long ago, I guess it really is bad boys for life, huh? Unforgivable. I'm going to put your limits to the test. Right. We heard about it. I know. I know. Take that. Take that. It ain't looking good for Dead Little Riddler right now. As far as I know, this is all alleged. You know, got to avoid that lawsuit. Alleged. These people are making these claims, and I guess they either intend to prove them so we can get arrested, or they want to sue him, or they want to have, you know, the pigs come lock him up in chains and shackles. Well, I mean, the police. I don't want to say the pigs, you know. Um, But as of right now, these are all claims being made. Cassie got paid. Maybe this new lady is trying to get paid too. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be a civil suit. Maybe she'll pursue some criminal charges. I don't know. Statute of limitations is probably up on that since it was apparently so long ago that she's claiming this happened. I don't know. But I'll keep you guys updated as I find out more information. But that's just my big ugly opinion. I'm the big ugly man, man, dog. And make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And get at your guy when you got the time. I'm out. Peace.